Here's an example of a spider in its web. This is not the traditional one that everyone thinks of when they think of web, but this is definitely a web right here. It's not planal, where it's not just one plane where the web is built. This is built in two dimensions, even three dimensions, where there's one main web that the spider is on right now, and there's a whole bunch of smaller web fibers stretched everywhere to try to capture more bugs as they fly through the tree. This one here is also, if you notice, it's in the middle of the day, so this spider does not take down its web. It does not rebuild it every day like some of the more famous ones do. It just continuously adds to it. And if left on go, I bet that little spider right there would most likely spin up that entire tree that every insect that goes through it would be captured. If you look right in the center, there looks like there'd be two balls there. Now that could be eggs for the next generation. Or what sometimes it does happen is that when the, in, the spider catches more flies or mosquitoes or other flying insects than it can eat, it sometimes wraps those insects with its own web like you would wrap your lunch and take, then take it off someplace else. It's just preserving food for another time. Why don't spiders get trapped in their own webs? Oh, well, that, well not all the web that you see there is sticky. About one, well, when I was in my third grade class, my teacher told me that about one in every third, one in every three webs that the spider weaves is not sticky. So as it races across the web to go get, go after a prey, it does not get stuck itself. So, like, the main structural pieces are definitely not sticky, but the pieces that go in between, the web pieces that go in between the structural pieces, are most definitely sticky and they, you will get stuck to it if you touch it. And are spiders your garden friend or your garden pest? <laughs> well, spiders are definitely good for your garden. Spiders eat a whole sort of raft of insects. They keep it clean. They're like, they're like your little guardian that when you're not there, they'll watch over your plants and make sure that there's nasty bugs don't eat them. If you see a spider in, the, in your garden, don't go swat at it. It's just there to eat the bugs that are eating your plants. And what other insects and, and animals eat spiders? Well, there is a couple of different kinds that can go after it. There are parasitic insects that do attack the scales of the spider. There are wasps that collect it for its larva. There are, if a bee gets a chance, many of the bees and wasps will go after this guy for food. And some birds use this as their uh, material to build their nests. They'll use the webbing for the nest finches. I believe so, yeah. Okay, well thank you very much, Mike. You're here at Highland Hill Farm, and he's describing some of your uh, favorites, spiders. Thank you. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs, such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees, such as white pine, Norway spruce, we also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes, from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high, along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. We also have Nana berry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs. 
including Winterberry Holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plan.